crazy chef welcome back to the vibe so beautiful 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 fantastic awesome mouth-watering chocolate ice cream with a little touch of m&ms so today we're gonna learn to make chocolate ice cream as you see on the screen today we're learning to make delicious chocolate ice cream thanks for checking in if it's your first time here red subscribe button as i said if it's your first time on the channel red subscribe button because we bring that vibe reason why you subscribe to this channel is we bring that vibe so in a bowl we put two cups of heavy cream and we whip it. We're gonna whip it until it's stiff and it just stays right on our mixing powder. So, two cups of heavy cream, whip, 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 and we go from there. So, first thing you wanna do is you wanna hit that like button. Hit that like button. If it's your first time here, hit that red subscribe button. If it's your first time here, red subscribe button. So we're making chocolate ice cream. So we whip it until it's like, so you wanna whip it till it starts to hold on to the mixer. So seriously, and it takes a while, but the more you whip it, the better. So hit that like button. If it's your first time here, hit that red subscribe button. And uh, see, we're half the way. So we're gonna whip it again. So we're gonna whip it again, just to make sure it's all the way to where we want it. So, two cups heavy cream. That's perfect. Look how beautiful that looks. So now we're gonna add a full can of condensed milk. So. A full can of condensed milk. Condensed milk you can get in your local supermarket in the Spanish or the Goya section. So a full can of condensed milk. And then we're gonna whip, whip again. So condensed milk in, and then we're gonna whip again. Then we're gonna put a cup and a half of cocoa powder so you can start getting your cocoa powder ready and i'm gonna hit it with a touch of vanilla so touch of vanilla and a full can of condensed milk and we're gonna whip that all the way so mix her in whip 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 and we go it's already mostly mixed, so you, you just put on like a medium speed and then you gradually goes up to a higher speed. So let's check it, it's perfect. Stays onto the thing. Now we're gonna add our cocoa powder, but when we add the cocoa powder, you have to fold it. So you're gonna sieve it in. So we're gonna sieve the cocoa powder in and then you're gonna fold and then mix so stay tuned for the end of the video at the end of the video i'm all you're gonna see you're gonna see that vibe so rub it through your sieve because you don't want lumps the reason why we put it through the sieve is we don't want lumps so we rub it through the sieve get it nice and smooth no lumps, no bumps. And then you're gonna take a rubber spatula and you're gonna just fold that in. So, it's figure eight. You know the folding techniques, the figure eight. So we fold and we cut. Fold and we cut. After it's all folded in, then we're gonna whip it again. And then after we whip it again, we can do the thing. So. Watch until the end of the video. You wanna see where we go with this. So, fold that in. 
and I mean if it's not dark enough for your liking you can add more cocoa powder you can give it a taste if it's not sweet enough you know if you want to put a little Baileys in there if you want to put a little vanilla vodka in there you can put other stuff in there you don't have to put M&Ms in there you can put some chocolate some semi-sweet chocolate in there you can put some mint chocolate in there you can put a lot of stuff in there but this is just the base and I'm gonna put some M&M in mine so and I mean a lot of people have peanut allergy so they might not want to put the M&M you don't have to put the M&M's you can put whatever you want in there so we fold it in now we're gonna whip it and when you whip it all that chocolate's gonna just whip into it so we fold it in now we're gonna just take the mixer and we're gonna whip it then we're gonna put it in our ice cream thing. So, mixer, whip. And you wanna get all that dry stuff out of here. So you wanna whip all that dry stuff out. And, yeah, perfect. So, as I said, as soon as it's fully whipped, we're gonna put it in our ice cream container and we're gonna freeze it for like three to four hours see that that's beautiful so we're gonna scrape this in our ice cream container and we're gonna put it in our freezer three to four hours and then we're gonna take it. and as I said you could put a little bit of Baileys in there you could put a little vanilla vodka a little semi-sweet chocolate I mean it's endless stuff you could do in there but uh if you haven't hit that like button yet it's the perfect time to do so because we're putting in the M&M so as soon as we put the M&M in hit that like button if it's your first time here red subscribe button so fold that in Mr. Chef and get our container so Mr. Chef fold that in and then we're gonna just get it ready and put it in our freezer it's gonna be beautiful and you can see how delicious that looks right there that's some delicious stuff so uh oh So scrape all that in our bowl and we're going to lever. So we're going to scrape all that in our bowl and then we're going to lever. You don't want to leave anything. You want to make sure you scrape everything out because this is delicious stuff. You don't want to you make sure you don't leave anything in there. This is delicious stuff. And this is stuff you could make like with the kids, whatever. But uh, yeah, this is delicious stuff. So we're going to put this... In our freezer we're gonna smooth it out a little bit smooth it out a little bit and we're gonna put it in our freezer and we're gonna just freeze this for two for three to four hours and it's gonna come out looking like that look at that beautiful thing look at that beautiful thing that's awesome that's nice ice cream nice chocolate ice cream Perfect. Let's give it a little scoop. Look at that. That's perfect. It's perfect stuff. Crazy Chef, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the vibe. Thanks for keeping the vibe alive.